awesome, your red marker is looking good. Now all you have to do is add the caps and sleeves to the other markers. Add a cap and sleeve to both the green and blue markers. You can just copy the div elements from the red marker and paste them into the other markers. I'm not going to do that. Right, so that's an open div and a closing div and two divs within the div. So I've got an open div and a closing div. Ah, uh, is that what it is? So div class equals what well, there's no marker it's cap c a p and then we need a closing div then we need another div what well, class equals sleeve Then we need a closing div. That's it now. I don't know what I did the first time. I think I never put it in in the div if you know what I mean. So basically that's the start of the div and that's the end of the div. So start of the div, end of the div. So inside the div, we need two divs. Div class equals cap. And then we need a closing div. And then we need a div class equals sleeve instead of marker. I don't know where I got marker for the last time. And then we need a closing div. Hmm. Right, why, why, why? Right, so that one works, that one works, but the blue one doesn't it? So div class equals marker blue, div class equals cap, inverted commas, closing div, open closing div, div class equals sleeve, and a closing div. Ah, that's right. Ah, I thought it was rang because of the A2. I thought that had to be in the middle T. That's it. Yabba dabba fucking do. It took me ages to do that one, I know. The last thing you will do is add a slight shadow to each marker to make them look even more realistic. The box shadow property lets you apply one or more shadows around an element. Here's the basic syntax. Box shadow, offset, X, Y and colour. Start by adding a simple shadow to the red marker. In the red CSS rule, add the box shadow property with the values. 5 pixels for offset X, 5 pixels for offset Y. And red for the colour. So I've done this. So box shadow colon five pixels, comma five pixels, comma red semicolon. No. Sorry, your code does not pass. Your red, your dot red CSS rule has a box shadow shorthand property with the values of five pixels, five pixels in red. <laughs> well, it's five pixels, five pixels in red. That's what I've done. Unless we don't need commas. Ah, that's what it is. Yabba dabba fucking do. Moving on. As you can see, you added a simple red shadow around your marker. That five pixels to the right and five pixels down. But what if you wanted to position your shadow on the opposite side? You can do that by using the negative values of offset Y and off offset X and offset Y. Update the values to the box shadow property and set the offset X to minus five pixels and minus five pixels. So... Um, minus five pixels. 